Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics. I'm here to show you how easy it is to create a Windows 8 inspired app using our Windows Forms controls in just a few minutes. So let's get started. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a beautiful office style UI with zero lines of code. Well, we're actually going to add a couple lines of code, but that's just to show you a couple forms. So let's go ahead and get started. I have Visual Studio open already, so I'm going to create a new Windows form project. Once my project is created, I'm going to go ahead and delete the default and add three new forms. The first form is going to our MIDI parent, and we'll name it main form. And before we forget, let's change this to load the new main form, or else we'll get an error when we build this later on. Now let's go ahead and add customer's form. And we'll add a calendar. Now on main form, this is going to be our MIDI parent. So let's go to its properties and set its text to customer CRM app so it looks good. Let's change its window state to maximize and set is MIDI container to true. The first thing we're going to do is add a toolbar to the form. We want to use an office style ribbon, so we're going to use the Ultra Toolbar Manager. Drag that onto the form. And I'm going to click Show Ribbon. Now, the way this control works is right within the UI. You can very easily add ribbon tabs and then groups within each ribbon tab. So you're literally just clicking within the UI, and then on each one of those items, you can insert new tools. So, for example, I can insert a button tool, combo box, or any number of preset tools that we have. For example, let's add a pop-up color picker and a font list. I'm not going to go through the process of designing a ribbon right now, but I want you to be familiar with how easy it is to set it up. The same goes with Backstage. I can insert new tools into my Backstage. I can add different buttons. And this creates my backstage, and then on each item for the backstage, I can add new tools. I'll add a MIDI window list, and there it is. So as you can see, I can create my backstage very quickly and create my button groups with small buttons across the top. The next thing I want to do is create a UI that's actually dockable. Like an Outlook style UI, I need an explorer bar on the left that I can allow the user to move around, pin, and unpin out of the form. I'm going to add an Ultra Dock Manager. So let's scroll up the toolbox and we'll grab our Ultra Dock Manager control. As you can see, we have a lot of great controls in the toolbox. The Ultra Dock Manager allows us to take any control, like the Ultra Explorer bar we just added, right click on it, and tell it where to dock. In this case, I want the Ultra Explorer bar to dock to the left. Now I have my Ultra Explorer bar and it is docked to the left. On each of these controls, I can set individual properties, like how they look, how they appear, their colors, or I can do it globally. So for example, on the Ultra Dock Manager, if I scroll down in the Property Editor, I can set the window style property to Office 2003 or Visual Studio 2008 or Office 2007. You have multiple options on how this control should appear. We also have the concept of style libraries, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Another important concept of the Dock Manager control is the Control Panes collection, which includes properties that you can set for the control docked in that specific Control Pane index. This Control Pane has the text property of the Ultra Explorer bar that we docked to the left earlier. And I can change this text to say Main Menu. And you can see it's reflected right here and it actually says Main Menu. My Ultra Explorer bar also has some visual properties that I want to modify. The Ultra Explorer bar is a unique control in that it can render in different ways. So first, let's go ahead and add one group and add a couple of items to this group. You can see that it looks like an old style Office or Windows XP list. I can change it to a list bar, I can change it to a toolbox, or even an Outlook navigation pane, which is really what I want.
Now this particular control also has a nice designer. So I can go to the Ultra Explorer Bar Designer and start setting properties on the control. The name of this is Ultra Explorer Bar 1. The style is Outlook Navigation Pane, etc. The group that I've added is called New Group. So let's change this and call it Main Items. And inside of Main Items, we've added two items and I'm going to change the first item to Customers because that was our first form. We're going to use tags later on. So I'm going to call this Customers Form and this new item is going to be Calendar Form. So you can see we're pulling things together here and it's starting to look good. If I run this, you'll see that we have a nice looking office style app started. I can move this around and I can also dock this control. I have the dock manager on the form and you can see I can dock it in various places, but the problem is you can't really tell where it's docking. It's not a modern dock experience. So, let's go back to our Ultra Dock Manager and change the style of this Dock Manager to have the guides on the form so when a user is dragging it around, they can actually see where things are being dragged. So let's change Drag Window Style from Outline to Layered with Window Indicators. Now that I've made those changes and moved it around, I have a real modern looking dock style here that looks like what we would get in Visual Studio. That looks pretty slick. Next, let's go ahead and open up our forms. I'm going to double click on our items and we're just going to use the switch statement. It's just the basic code to load up a child form in a MIDI app. Setting the MIDI parent and then I'm showing it and I'm doing the same for calendar form. So let's go ahead and run this app. My forms open up, but they don't really look how I want. And I actually want this in a nice tab style UI. So let's go back to our main form, open it up in the designer, and let's go ahead and grab the Ultra Tabs MIDI Manager. I'm not going to change anything else. I'll hit run, and now when I open up these forms, you'll notice that they show up in a nice tab across the top. A nice feature with this control is I can split these forms. I can put one on the top and one on the bottom, or however many MIDI children I have, I can arrange on the form to create a really nice and flexible UI. One last thing I want to do is actually make this application look a little bit more stylish. So I'm going to use the application styling framework that we ship with the product. In my main function, I'm going to tell the infragistics.win.appstyling.stylemanager.load and I'm going to tell it to load Style Library, which is a global way to set the visual style of the entire application. I'll navigate on my hard drive to where we publish all of the styles. The style files for your app can be compiled as a resource within your app, or you can treat them as a loose file that is referenced in your project. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Metro style, and I'm just gonna copy this whole path, and I'm gonna paste it right here. And then I'm just going to hit run. And just like that, my application looks even cooler than it did before. I have a nice metro looking UI. I can still do all the things I did before. I can drag forms around, I can move this to the left and to the right side, and I can resize. I can close items like so and reload them. But that's the point. Without really doing a whole lot of work on the coding aspects of this application, I have a beautiful looking layout, which will allow me then to start adding different controls to these forms and customize an even more beautiful user experience to my customers. So that's what's in development. We'll see you next time.